So branding isn't just for retail giants or unique startups. It's essential for wholesale and arbitrage as well as private sellers too. So strong branding is extremely important and it goes beyond just labeling. It helps you differentiate from competitors and build lasting consumer uh, relationships. But here's why strong branding is so important. It sets you apart from competitors, even when selling similar products as well. So it's really important to be to stand out from the competition. It also mm-hmm. builds customer loyalty as well. So a crafted brand fosters trust and encourages um, repeat purchases. Also visibility, it helps you stand out in the crowded market, attracting more attention. And that's essentially what you need on Amazon as well, because there's so many products selling the same thing. Um, And growth foundation as well. Um, Investing in branding now sets the stage for future growth and scalability. And I know that is a fact. So if you are looking to really grow your brand, this is a really important part to to, um, focus on in your business. And also incorporating effective branding practices that ensures your business is not just another option in the market, but being a memorable and trusted choice. So it's really important that the customers do value and buy from brands they trust. Yeah, one thing to to keep in mind too is that we're going to be talking a lot about product branding, but the same goes for your business branding in general as well. So if you're doing brand partnerships or consulting or wholesale, you're building a brand around that as well and not only the products that you're selling. Absolutely, like the company branding as well. It's all connected. And obviously um, the things that I will go through um, shortly is is, is all relevant to, to product branding, uh, company branding as well. So uh, do our, you know, you need to ask yourself actually, are you standing out with a unique brand identity? Okay, because a strong brand identity is essential for making a lasting impression and it resonates with your target audience. So when I talk about unique identity, I'm talking about the logo. That's your brand signature. So it needs to be unique and recognizable and consistent. Also the color scheme, like you need to choose a palette that aligns with your brand's value and use it consistently. And I know a lot of people that start their brands, they go with their favorite color or they think, oh, that's very nice. They see something they like and they just go with it. But there is a Mm -hmm. psychology behind color as well. So there's, it's not just picking something from, you know, out, out from the sky thinking that's great. Also typography fonts that reflect your brand's personality um, in, and ensure readability as well. So it's really important when the customer's looking at your brand, they can read and they understand and it actually looks like and feels like a whole identity uh, put behind your actual brand or product. And also one thing that I also uh, do sort of push is the tone of voice as well for your brand. So the tone of your brand, the, the way you communicate, whether it's friendly, professional, witty as well, it's important like in marketing, what, when you write emails or on social media, there has to be a particular voice. It can't be inconsistent mm-hmm. because I've seen that across brands and nothing's, you know, when it's not consistent, you confuse the customers as well. And that's, you lose the trust with the customer as well. 